start again. This is where the African Union is also expected to take charge and establish ecosystems of common interest to drive policy innovation. First, within their community of interest, online or virtually, through the metaverse. And secondly, um, make authorities to adopt them. For example, innovations like Big Brother Niger, um, Nigerian Idol, and other talent on events can be taken to the next level by creating innovative policies that will engage and empower the youth for economic development. Inclusive financing. Expand access to alternative financing, crowdfunding, angel investing, venture capital. This includes designing of realistic materials, loans, guarantees, equity, or co investments to attract private capital for startup investments in Africa. Where I'm coming, and specifically at the one of the reasons why I was invited to is about diaspora investment as another source for innovative financing and policy making. Another innovative policy area where African nations should focus on its highly skilled and very wealthy diaspora community in Africa. In of course, very wealthy diaspora communities in America, Europe, and the other continents. Today in Nigeria, we are all complaining of the Japan phenomenon. Isn't it? I'm sure most people are thinking of Japan very soon. <laughs> For us, it's not a completely bad idea for African citizens to migrate to other countries. The Aspera capital have over the years been able to contribute to the development of many developing countries. These include China, India, Philippines, Ireland, and many others. African countries can invest both skill and resources in African, African diaspora can invest both skill and resources in African startups going forward. Governments need to be innovative in driving special policies and programs that will attract both the historic and recent African diaspora to invest in the continent. There are many historic African diaspora whose great grandparents were enslaved during the slave trade, but who have now turned out to be very successful and wish to trace their origins back to Africa. However, our old and sometimes archaic laws will not allow such to happen easily. In this regard, African governments need to consider granting citizenship based on DNA verification technology. Recent, recently, many African celebrities and rich, rich African Americans have got their DNA verifications, which traces their roots to Nigeria, Ghana, and several other African countries. African countries will start to gain immensely if they grant citizenship to most of these people who want to trace their roots to Africa. Now, let's go to the next slide where we have the youth as the catalyst for economic and political development of the future of Africa, using startups as a vehicle for change. The youth of Africa have the potential to be the driving force behind the continent's economic and political transformation in coming years. With a median age of 19.7 years, Africa has the youngest population in the world, presenting a unique opportunity for growth and development. Startups have been marked as a crucial vehicle for harnessing the energy, creativity, and entrepreneurial spirit of African youth. These innovative new entrepreneurs are leveraging technology, disrupting uh, traditional, disrupting traditional industries, no, and creating conclusion. solutions to some of the conditions. I guess that's not this conclusion. Yeah, no. Now, we look at economic development. Startups founded by young Africans are creating jobs, generating revenue, and contributing to the overall economic growth of their respective countries. Many of these startups are focusing on sectors such as fintech, e-commerce, agriculture, and renewable energy, which are crucial for driving sustainable development. Successful startups can attract foreign, direct foreign investment and spur the growth of ancillary industries, fostering a vibrant and entrepreneurial ecosystem. With Nigeria's population expected to grow to 400 million by 2050, there must be a way for Africa, and indeed the whole of us, as governments or as individuals, to ensure that we prepare ourselves towards the future of the world. Yes, okay. By that estimate alone, it means that even in Nigeria alone, 
demand for goods and services will grow. China, now, and we must be ready and willing to China, satisfy this growing yeah, demand by making ourselves ready now to address future challenges. But beyond this, Africa and its growing youth population must strategically position itself as the engine room of the whole world in the near future. We must be ready to take over from China as the major producer for the world. We must be ready to take over from I India really and other countries as the major service providers for the whole world. However, Africa's future ambitions must not necessarily be territorial. Africans in any part of the world must be encouraged to take over these opportunities and then drive home the prosperity, just as the Israelis have done, the Irish have done, and more recently, the India, Indians are doing. Most importantly, we must change the way we do things. We must all be willing and ready to be problem solvers, just like our last speaker said, rather than just complaining about everything. Let's all see opportunities and miss challenges and be willing to take advantage of every situation for the good of our tomorrow. We must understand that success is a seed that was sown earlier in the past to bear the present fruits of success. In that regard, there is no skill, knowledge, or education that is a loss. Please be careful. Be careful of scams who tell you that education is a scam. They are the ones who are trying to scam you. Just be careful. Let's inspire you today. Believe me, all of you here are problem solvers. All you need to do is to identify your talents. Tell yourself the truth. Ask yourself, what is it really that I am good at? And that, and that can mean anything from agriculture, health, education, to just cooking food, selling corn, producing moi moi or masa, to carpentry, metal works, fashion, etc. And just like the last speaker said, we must not necessarily be a coder or be a, what do you call it, a major disruptor in the fintech industry. Take advantage of the fintech industry. That is the vehicle that you need to use. And let me surprise you. Take note of this place. Even discussion and listening, I'm repeating this, just discussing with somebody and listening to somebody or listening to music or even viewing videos or movies are talent today and for the future. These are talents that you can leverage on today and for the future. That is how people become influencers, analysts, and reviewers. Are you good in organizing parties, events, or any type of get-together? Or let's even say that you are just good in just attending and criticizing every party you go to. Every food someone makes, you criticize. Every cloth somebody wears, you criticize. All these are talents. And even as a critic, there is a job for you. You can take your advantage and make it a talent and achieve excellence, but with the right discipline. And all this can easily be achieved by leveraging technology. Technology today and for the future is the vehicle where all talents can be transformed into very high paying jobs in any part of the world. Just discover yourself right now and start to aim for excellence in what you do and instill discipline in your attitude to success. Please listen to me very well. I want to give you an assignment. Or oh, I know students don't like assignments. You don't want to hear the word assignment. Okay. Let's say challenge. Let me challenge you today. Please go and Google these two words and translate it to yourself. Please go and Google. I didn't say go and research. Go and Google these two words. Excellence and discipline. I repeat again. Excellence and discipline. And I think that was one of the major takeaways I got from the last president. Excellence and discipline. And then ask yourself how you relate to the understanding you make out of the two words. What does it mean to you? How does it reflect to you? How do you want to achieve that? Excellence and discipline. What is important beyond everything else is to improve yourself in a positive manner. Whatever you are doing today, 
let your tomorrow be better than who you are today. In what you feel you can be able to achieve. Also, 